ever, average rapist gets three and a half years in prison. Three and a half years. Rapists should get prison to life in castration. We under imprison people. We probably over imprison people for some drug possession crimes. You and I could find agreement on that. Okay. Not drug dealing. And those crimes happen to fall along racial lines. So no, they don't. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we're going to be reacting to Charles Kirk teaches liberal UC Berkeley students a lesson on accountability. Guys, let's get straight into this. If cocaine was right here and I took it, is it the person who dropped it there or my fault if I Both. took it? I think the question of fault wrong. is a wrong My one. fault. Yes. It's my fault if I take it. But See, what, I what believe you take it? I believe that people are responsible for their own decisions, not society. Exactly. But black communities have been redlined for centuries. So families like families and like Wait, black so men, black people are too stupid to know otherwise no, not take drugs? Is I that your argument? I, 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 no, that's your argument. No, your argument is that black people are too stupid and that drugs come in. No, exactly. They've been realizing the communities and then the drugs are being brought into no, the community. I, I believe they're being overexposed to it so, and that they're more likely all, to take it. So to your Same point, with white people. You know so many white people at Berkeley do uh, cocaine so, too, right? So your your point, we don't different? have enough people in prison. Okay. So <laughs> they don't have enough? we so, under incarcerate rapists, under incarcerate sexual offenders. Average rape average rapist gets three and a half years in prison. Three and a half years. Rapists Whoa. should get prison to life in castration. We under-imprison people. We probably over-imprison people for some drug possession crimes. You and I could find agreement on that. Okay. Not drug dealing. And those crimes happen to fall along racial lines. So No, they don't. No, they don't. So, blacks commit <laughs> more crimes FBI than white has people. statistics behind so, like, so, so I'm Hispanic too. Well, well, look, blacks commit more crimes than white people. You don't have to say it out loud. It's just the way it works. No. Black, so my question go. is why? Blacks kill more. Why? Because they're no fathers in the home. And then so, how does that happen? We can't because, just stop asking because, why. Right, exactly. The question, so that's a good question. First of all, it's culture. No one wants to say it. How does culture arise? Yeah. How does we can't, it, we can't divorce. Power? We can't divorce the so laws that we're living we, in. So how we we inserted it? ourselves, the federal government in the 1960s, Lyndon Baines Johnson, Great Society Act, inserted themselves in the black community primarily, tore down the homes, put up vertical housing units like Caprini, Caprini Green and others, and then we brought in massive government programs where black women married the government and separated from black men, creating this chasm where we subsidize single motherhood. Black women and women in general in America lose money if they get married, and that's not right. So we subsidize single motherhood. 75% of black babies in America do not have a father, a stable father in the home. 75%. Every statistic will show if you bring fathers back in the home, crime goes down, depression goes down. Fatherhood.org, look it up. It's publicly funded. It's the California's government funds. statistic funded. based on marriage, on it's, marriage rates? Well, I, I, it depends on whether it's a stable father in the home, right? So how they tabulate it, I'm not really sure, but you go to fatherhood.org. It's publicly funded by the federal government, by state governments. I'm it's like the up. most nonpartisan. Yeah, just look it up, fatherhood.org. Guys, I will say, the reason why black commit more crimes, I, especially New York, I believe is the fastest way to get money. Don't get me wrong. A lot of black people out there are drug shippers, forest trainers, real estate agents and but like the ones who do it more like there's no father taking care of them and the young ones trying to provide them more than any siblings and you what am i gonna do like what am i gonna do to get the bag fast and you know the easiest thing i can do is to join a gang and do drugs where i can get money to take care of my siblings and when you see it it's do you watch that movie on Netflix that trended. I've forgotten the name of it. Guy, I really can't remember the name. And I mean, the guy was left with two of his siblings, and his parents died of cancer. I think cancer accident. He had to take care of two siblings, and the only thing he can do is do drugs because he is not going to get enough money from from working normal job like him going to work a nice part. He's not going to get enough money to take off send the siblings to university. And when you think of all these things, when when you think about it, all these things come to play to, to them making these kind of decisions. And you can see someone might be owing a debt and like that selling into the drug business because oh I have to pay this thing fast. And drug money, even if we own it so it's fast and it feels it feels very well. <laughs> but like that is no I honestly believe in my heart that there is no need for you to go commit crime. But my friend who was stolen today and at one point actually and me thinking about it i was like what if the guys were cut you want to see them crying please forgive me and stuff like that still think about the consequences before you make any action and you can they are looking at three to five years in prison just by carrying on and bro attempted murder i think it might be more 
Because you thinking about it, there's no need for you to commit crime. I don't care how hard it is. I honestly believe that God will provide for you. And I honestly believe that they're going to give you an easy way out just to prolong you getting what you're supposed to have. Because I, I don't believe God will give you a problem with that solution. And sometimes you just have to be patient enough and work. There is quote I had yesterday. He said, work as if you are doing it alone and have it as if God is doing everything. Because if you're working, because it says faith without work is dead. When you work, you have to just believe that it's going to work out. You doing crimes does not change anything. Like, it doesn't, you're going to feel it's better, but when you check the statistics, how many people do drugs live a long life? They don't. And when you think about it, like, you think about, is this the life I want to live? These are questions black people don't ask themselves. I'm black and I know some people who still do fraud and they feel like we're getting the money fast. But think about it, people who you are scamming are making money. Like how are they making that kind of money? Why don't you make money the way they're making money so you don't have to steal someone's money? When you are caught, you see them crying and stuff like that, but like it changes. I, I don't really feel pity for tips. Like I, I, I don't care how you want to do it. Criminals, drug dealers, like. I don't feel pity because you you when you do some certain things, you don't feel pity for those kind of people. But guys, if you think about this video, just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys.